Hear ye, hear ye, hear ye all. Hear ye, hear ye, hear ye all. O royal proclamation, a holiday is hereby proclaimed. Let every bank be closed. Yeah. Let every shop be closed. Let every school be closed. Oh, well, I thought 
homemade right in the room. Oh, your water's boiling. I'll see, I'll have it ready in just a minute. You know, Godmother, I am awfully glad you happened to stop by tonight. I was getting rather lonely. Well, I thought you might be. Godmother, do dreams never, never come true? Oh, I wouldn't say never. Just seldom. Well, that's not very often, is it? Not very often is precisely what seldom means. You're a nice godchild, but you ask very foolish questions. <laughs> you know, I wish you believed in wonderful things. I wish that you believed that once in a while something marvelous or magical could happen. Well, I don't say that I don't believe that once in a while something marvelous and magical can't happen. For instance, do you believe in guardian angels? Well, I wouldn't say I don't believe in them. The only thing is, it's dangerous to believe too much in good fairies and guardian angels. Why? Oh, you get to lean on them too much. You get in the habit of sitting back and expecting them to do all the work for you. You've got to help yourself, you know. Yes, I know. I think about it a lot, you know. But then I don't know what to do. And so I end up just wishing and dreaming. I suppose that doesn't do any good. Well, I wouldn't say it doesn't do any good. As a matter of fact, everything has to start with a wish. Nothing happens without wishing it. Do you want to know what I was wishing tonight before you came? I'm almost afraid to hear. Do you see that pumpkin out in the yard? Oh, yes, I nearly stumbled over it in the dark. Well, the moon is shining on it now. I was wishing that that pumpkin would turn into a great big royal golden carriage and it would take you to the ball tonight. And what were you going to do for horses? Two white mice. Two white mice would turn into beautiful white prancing steeds. Were you going to drive them yourself? No, there'd be a footman, of course. And where was he coming from? Well, he could be the baby rat I saw in the cellar. <laughs> oh, I know what you were going to say. Foldy roll and fiddle dee dee. <laughs> yes, foldy roll and fiddle dee dee. It's impossible, I suppose. Impossible. Just the same, that's what I was wishing. And I still am. Nonsense. Wishing it very hard. You are. Yes, I am. I'm wishing in the name of every young girl who has ever wanted to go to a dance and was told she could not. I'm wishing that I may go to that ball tonight. And that all kind hearts and good souls would put their heads together and... Ah! Cinderella! All the kind hearts put their heads together? I don't know what I mean. Ah. That all the kind hearts and good souls would wish with me. And that you, Godmother, would help me with every ounce of strength and cleverness you possess. Country bumpkin and a prince to join the marriage and to 
understand. Oh, and you don't have to. Come on, if you don't hurry, the ball will be over before you even get there. Oh, thank you, Godmother. Thank you.
dance with that love look, aren't you? Don't touch your back. It's okay. The first time I danced with you, either. I wonder who she is. I wonder who she is. I've never seen the girl before. Well, whoever she is, it's clear that she likes her the best. Funny, she doesn't look very intellectual. <laughs> <laughs> Pinker than a rose is Her skin may be delicate 
a strange kind of girl. I still don't even know your name. It's a silly name. You really wouldn't like it. Whatever your name is, is the most beautiful name in all the world. Whatever your name is, I love you. I will always love you. But you don't say anything.
five. I would say about ten thousand or twelve. <laughs> I must be a very large ballroom at the palace. About half a mile long. And what beautiful music for dancing. Did you dance too? Oh, I should say I did. I met an old beau of mine, and he practically monopolized me. Was he a good dancer? <laughs> Light as a feather. Did any of you get to dance with the prince? Did any of us get to dance with the prince? Did you hear what she said? Did we get to dance? I danced about an hour with him. You danced an hour with him? Did you? Well, of course I did. You did. <laughs> did you know everyone there? Nearly everyone. All except a princess who came in very late, looked very early. I had no idea who she was. Did she get to dance with the prince? Um, yes, maybe once. That's right, just once. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she was only there for a few minutes. Did you go to sleep right after we left? No, I stayed up a little after midnight. <laughs> what were you doing all that time? Dreaming. Dreaming what? <laughs> what it must be like to go to the ball. You couldn't possibly dream of what it was like unless you were there. Well, I was trying to. Well, you just couldn't. Maybe I have more of an imagination than you think. I was trying to feel just the way you must feel. The way all girls must feel. Looking forward to the night, all that time, and finally it arrives. And you put on the most beautiful gown you've ever worn in your entire life, and off you go. I think I can almost feel what it's like. I imagine. I imagine.
it's a, does that count? Love <laughs> her, honestly. That's my shoe. I wore it last night. <laughs> I see. See, it fits perfectly. We all know it doesn't. Like it's gonna fit you. You have horse feet. You should have <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
going to have your attention for just a few moments. Our junior class have some presentations they would like to make. I'm going to turn everything over to our wonderful fairy godmother, Katie Greenman. Uh, if you could turn Katie's mic on, please. So the first two seniors we want to thank are Charlotte and Lainey.
last couple of months, um, and we're very sad to see you go. So. senior class would also like to thank some people. So, uh, Charlotte, do you have the list? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, first of all, we'd like to thank Mrs. Cars and Mrs. Stephanie for all the work they've done. If you guys could stand up. on it. We really appreciate all that she's done. <laughs> so you see what an impact it makes. Thank you. <laughs> and then Mrs. Stephanie has been here throughout Tech Week, throughout all of our performances, and she has put our crown so securely on her. behind stage, keeping us in line, keeping us where we need to be. So thank you both for all of that. Uh, our next person is Mr. Boyette Sylvain.
has three things that I just want to touch on really briefly. She, first of all, is an actor, so she knows exactly how important it is to let actors know when to do stuff. We can, she gives us free reign in our role. She knows exactly what we need to do. She lets us do what we want. We come up with some of our things and she thinks it's crazy, but she goes, if you think that fits, go for it. And she knows how important it is creating her own characters is. Secondly, she always knows exactly what a scene needs. She, anytime we're running through a scene, she goes, if you made this face, or you sounded like this if you made this audible sigh, and the scene just gets so much better, it, it works. And that she enhances our acting so much better beyond what we can even do or even think to do. And thirdly, she works both of the first two so well in unison. She lets us do what we need to do as actors, but she also controls us so well. And she guides us and she teaches us. And that's really what a great director does. So thank you very much.